We need to talk about Usher's halftime performance at the Super Bowl. And I don't care what anybody says, that was peak fun. The Jackson State Band, Alicia Keys, her, Ludacris, Lil John, Will I Am, and Jermaine Dupree in shorts and them, them socks for some reason. And you had roller skates. Usher went out there and gave 110% energy trying to entertain the folks at home. He wasn't afraid to share the spotlight, and he wasn't afraid to stand on stage alone for a large portion of that performance either. My channel is called The Unafraid Show, so you know I got to show some respect because Usher was fearless and willing to take risks, falling on his face in front of 200 million people on some roller skates. Yeah, he was definitely fearless, all right. He was fearless with being handsy with Mrs. Swiss Beats, a.k.a. Alicia Keys, too. And you guys can leave a comment. Was this too far? Was him getting hands, oh, 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 seductive around her. Was that inbounds or was that just entertainment purposes and got us talking? But I got to call out something that I noticed on social media and in the comment section right here on YouTube. And I get that social media is not real life, but for the purposes of sports commentary, it is my life. And why can't a guy have an opinion on something without people making it about race? Because I made a video the other day talking about how you can call out Cheryl Swoops, deservingly so, for being off base about all the things that she said about Iowa star Caitlin Clark and still respect that Swoops is on the women's basketball Mount Rushmore. And half of the comments were that I was only defending a black woman because I'm black. Bro, what? And now I make a comment about Usher's halftime show being one of my favorites. And I got people hitting me up saying, of course you think that. No, man, I just like fun performances and I'm trying to be entertained. I'm not out here thinking I'm Simon Cowell and my music opinion matters like that. And I damn sure don't make judgments based on the race of my entertainment. If it was Luke Combs up there on the roller skates, I would have been probably even more excited seeing Luke Combs on roller skates. Anyways, and I bet you didn't even know the good old George Rice to hear is a big time country music fan. A 40 HP Johnson on a flat bottom metal boat. Coke cans and BB guns, barbed wire and old fence posts, eight point bucks in autumn, and freshly cut cornfields. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Do you know how turned up I'm gonna be if next year's Super Bowl halftime is features Kane Brown, Luke Combs, Florida Georgia line, Marin Morris, and Old Dominion? Bro, I'm going to be happy. I even have Morgan Wallen on a playlist, and I watch this dude go full Riley Cooper on TMZ. So don't project your judgments on me and absolutely loosen up because the same people that are upset about Usher's music are the same people that need it the most because what you need to do is cut loose, take your girl dancing, maybe even hit the roller. And I'm not saying make love in the club, but maybe you need to take it nice and slow because right now you're caught up and you got it bad. Have a couple of cocktails and let it burn. Before you know it, you might just be saying, yeah!